Hi, in this session we'll discuss about XML report pivot feature. So in this particular sample, we'll try to design a report where we like to do grouping on multiple levels. Okay, so what are we considering now as XML publisher? And we require data model, require template layout, template. So in, in this one, we'll be introducing XSL, not the RTF template and data model where we use a data model approach and the template will be designing using XSL. Okay, so let us start with our XML published data model. So this is my data model. So in this, I just have very simple query, select star from EMP. Okay, I have not done any grouping in this one. Okay, so in this one, the important feature which you would like to introduce in this one is pivot table feature, pivot feature. So I think most of the developers will know that normally in the Excel sheet, you have a pivot feature. In the XML publisher report also, we have a feature called pivot and we gen we need to use, we'll be using this particular pivot feature whenever you want to design any cross tab report or generally matrix report, where you require to do the grouping at a number of levels. So one example which we'd like to consider in our session today is, so I would like to design a report which will show the department data like this. And on the top level, I would like to group by nothing but like a for each department, for each job on a given high date, how many employees I have like this. So now let us say for a given department 10 on a given job, okay, one minute. So let us say this is my department. And now for a given job, and for a given high date, let us say, this is my department, okay? And now this is my job, let us say, clerk. And now high date is 10th Jan 2016. Now the number of employees in this one are one, okay, like this. So this is what we'd like to achieve. So here, sorry, the department will be shown here. The department will be shown here. Okay. Let us say uh, consider one more one more stuff. Let us say for given department 20 and for the job manager on the high date is first Jan 2016. I have recruited around 20 employees. Okay. So this is what we like to achieve using our XSL sample. So let's see how do we design. The first thing is the first thing is like, uh, how do I design data model? So this is very simple one. There is nothing, no grouping in this particular data model here. And then what I have done is register your data model, nothing but data definition. And then in the template, if you observe, I have designed an XSL FO template. So how do we design this XSL FO template? Let's see that. So first of all, get your XML data. So in our case, like, uh, so like once you register your XML data definition, you'll get the XML data. So once you got the XML data, now go to the XML publisher. So here, if, if you observe this is my layout. So the first and foremost important thing is first check out your XML publisher version. Click on help about. You need to have Oracle BI publisher template builder for Word 101341. And check out that whether you have this pivot feature in the insert, insert pivot table. So if you don't have this pivot table feature, we cannot design a report. So let me see how, like I'll just show you how exactly I have designed this particular report. So what we do is, so click on data, load XML data, load the EMP data here. Now click on insert pivot table. So in the pivot table now here in the layout, we have something called, le so this is your left grouping and this is the top level grouping and this is your exact field which you want to show for the count. Now on the left side, we require a department. On the top, we would like to group the data based on job and other one is high date. Now we require a count. So I'll just check the count in this particular field. So here, so now for the count, it will ask you whether what you would like to do for the aggregation, whether it's a summation or it's a count, what exactly you want to do. So in our case, it is a count. In our case, we just need we just need to count the number of employees for a given department for a given job on a particular high date. Okay, and preview generally preview should work, but sometimes generally you know like it may you may you may not get the appropriate preview here, so you can ignore that. So it says not valid, not a problem. Just ignore that and click on OK. Now what I'll do is I'll just add up some UI stuff like a colors. I like to change this color. So in the table, I prefer to have yeah maybe this is. Okay, this is quite good. I'll select this, change the color, bold. Okay, now here also, if you want to have some group by, you can do it or else you can just remove the colors, whatever you have, which was showing by default here. I'll just say no color. Okay, now for a given department, what we can do is let us say, we'd like to have color for department. So I'll just do the color for that. 
okay, green not bad okay this quite not good yeah this okay and have a bold okay that's it click on add in and now click on preview html and see the output see the output so now it has performed dynamic grouping stuff so the number of columns are dynamic and the top level we could see here the data is getting grouped on a given job and a high date so of course you can change the format of the date here so click on date check the date here format change it to date and here just give this one yy mmdt like this and now we can have the column properties here let us say right so this is department and this is high date okay now on the top level it is job like this now click on add-ins now check the preview again and see the difference right on the top is job and the right hand side is high date and the left hand side down down it is this one okay so this is how it works and now for a given analyst for a given department on this particular date this is the employee now the next thing what you do is directly you cannot attach your rtf template so that will not work what you do is we have a alternative approach for this click on tools click on export and just check this option xsl f4 style sheet it will generate in a style sheet here okay now copy this one save this particular file as xsl save this file as xsl now what we do is now upload this xsl file into template so now where is this my excel yeah this is my xsl okay now go to the template and here create a template with this xsl as a default file i mean to say the type as xsl fo and upload your xsl file okay now let me update the file click on browse upload the xsl Now let's try to run the report. So whenever you require multi-level grouping, this is one of the easiest, best approach you can use. And of course, there are some set of you know like uh, issues you generally come across. The higher level of grouping it supports a six level or maybe seven level depends upon your version. And whatever you show in the field, like the middle one, this particular field is always a count, sum, or average. Nothing but it's always a number. And of course, you will not have much control on this particular one. So, so we have to consider all the requirements and before working working on this particular approach. Click on view output. Right. So this is output here. Job, department, high date. Okay. And you can also remove the subtotal. Let us say if it doesn't require this total for each row, they can remove this one. So you'll have a lot number of options. You can explore more on this also. Thank you.